Well, hello, Reject Nation. It's Greg Alba here. And John Humphrey over here. I am ready in all comic book format material with my clothing to watch the trailer for Paul Thomas Anderson. I'll make sure it's Thomas, not W.S. This might be Daniel Day-Lewis' last movie, apparently. He's going out with his There Will Be Blood director. Yeah, Paul W.S. Anderson. Lifestyle. I almost anything into the canvas of a coat. When I was a boy, I started to hide things in the linings of the garments. Okay. Things that only I knew were there. <laughs> Secrets. Good morning. Will you have dinner with me? Yes. Yeah, you will. Yeah, you will. I feel as if I've been looking for you for a very long time. You look beautiful. Very beautiful. I have things I want to do. Things I simply cannot do without you. My lord has made my dreams come true. And I have given him what he desires most in return. <laughs> Bye-bye, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a P.T. Anderson picture, a tale of, you know, a guy very dedicated, almost obsessed with something. Almost obsessed. Yeah. Clearly, Clearly obsessed. obsessed. <laughs> That's Paul Thomas Anderson's style. Obsession, loving, but in kind of a greedy aspect. <laughs> well, yeah, they're always like twisted, or at least lately, they're always kind of twisted character studies. Yeah. And it seems to have those qualities of like, you're probably just gonna peer in on this situation for a long time and yeah. sort of watch these people's lives for a bit and then the movie's just sort of gonna stop. He's really good at capturing lifestyle of characters. Totally. It feels like an authentic British film about a royal family. Like, I wouldn't have guessed this was a P.T. Anderson film off the trailer. Well, I would have yeah. thought this was, you know, like, oh, this is a film from the UK coming out, <laughs> you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. well, and the period and the production values and just the yeah. style is, you know, is it kind of a departure from the, the setting I'm used to, to seeing him inhabit. Oh, yeah. That's cool. You know, it's a bit more of a sophisticated world. The master and, uh, you know, inherent vice and stuff like that, those are a bit more gruff. And I get the sense that this is going to be a more subtly unsettling movie. Because his movies yeah. are always sort of unsettling when you peer in on these lifestyles and well, stuff. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, it looks like Daniel Day Lewis and Vicky Cribes were going to get an introduction into the lifestyle of Daniel Day Lewis's character fashion designer with kind of this dark obsession. I don't know what the secrets are that he's hiding inside of the clothes he's designing. I thought it was gonna go down some type of criminal secret thing, but it doesn't look like it's going down that at all. No. I feel like it's gonna strictly focus on his relationship and his obsession yes. and control that um, Daniel Day-Lewis is so good at inhabiting. I like when he plays characters who have issues with power and control. Then it's gonna deteriorate their relationship and it's gonna be very subtle. There's gonna be oh, a lot yeah. of undertones. It's gonna be a lot of coming from within. Daniel Day-Lewis retiring. I kind of would want him to go out with something a little bit more on the theatrical, dramatic side. 
something the, bigger. Yeah, I, I, it's Daniel Day Lewis, so I, <laughs> I, I feel like to go out with a little bit more of that powerhouse type of performance. I wonder from his perspective, I'm like, you know, every role seems like he just becomes a new person for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta imagine that maybe in his own way, this is that for him. Yeah. <laughs> you know, P.T. Anderson movies kind of always have this spiral, you know, that seems like it would be hard for especially a method actor to really immerse in. But yeah, I, I get what you mean. This is a little more of like a, oh, it's subtle drama, I guess, you know, drama where the most gritty stuff is in the, the little details, you I know. I mean, I gotta be honest, as much as I like P.T. Anderson, mm -hmm. I'm not too drawn to this film. Well, and I've had uh, issues back makes... and forth with his movies lately. Like, I liked Inherent Vice a lot, but The Master was something that I had difficulty with connecting to, enjoying as a movie-going experience. And There Will Be Blood, I I'm sorry, everybody. I I get why it's great, and that movie just leaves me cold. I'm watching this trailer, and I'm like, I'm intrigued in this trailer format. But knowing his movies, I'm a little bit like, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this very much or not. I like the worlds. I like spending time in the worlds always. At the same time, though, I'm kind of getting the impression this is not the kind of movie that you could really put in a trailer <laughs> format. I don't really feel like many of P.T. Anderson's no. movies of, of late are. There's so much about sinking into the scenes that are going on. He likes to he really let his actors explore, and it seems like it's really going to hinge on the performances of Daniel Day-Lewis and Vicky Crepes. Creeps, creeps, creeps. With these kind of scenes that are going on, I imagine that these scenes will probably be a lot more gripping in t when I'm watching the actual movie because it's going to be so subtle in terms of its undertones that I don't imagine you could really make a, a super intriguing trailer that has this dramatic weight to it. Yeah. As opposed to that looks interesting. You kind of just got to make a tone pastiche for a yeah. trailer for a movie like this because, like, most every scene in a Paul Thomas Anderson movie is going to be much longer than the duration <laughs> of the trailer. <laughs> Anyway, you know, it's not like he crams his movies with moments. It's all about the long term. And yeah, I, I, I do kind of agree that I guess the pedigree is more exciting than the actual look yeah. of this trailer. And especially for Daniel Day-Lewis' last film, I'm like, okay, what's going to make this special? What's going to make this the stamp? Or is it just the last movie he wanted to do? And there we go. All right, guys. Well, do you have your pulse raised for Phantom Thread? <laughs> is P.T. Anderson the greatest director you've ever known? Is Daniel Day-Lewis the most underrated actor of all time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody gives that guy any credit. He gets no cred, you know? Somebody should. No cred. Tired of him being overshadowed in performances. It's, it's sad, really. You Man. can subscribe to The Realistic Rejects and uh, check us out on social media. Links in the description box. Yep. Yep.